Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got another fun physics lesson today. We're gonna see if we can make a little car we designed go all the way around a circle, and then if we can make it, we wanna do it with the least amount of speed on the hinge motors as possible. So, let's get cracking. If you're in my room, MT Tools is where I stored the blank file. If you're not in my room, there will be a link in the corner of this video showing you how you can get fun physics at your home. The first thing I want you to note is the one meter mark, and I want you to scroll out until it switches to the 10 meter mark. When it does, grab the sky with the right mouse button and pull it down to the bottom. Switch to the circle tool and draw a circle that takes up almost all the screen. Once you set it down, right click it and that lets you grab it with the left mouse button and set it down near the bottom so there's a little bit of space. Clone it. Take the second one and switch to the scale tool. Hold down shift and scale it so it stays a circle. Make it a different color just because we can. And then I want you to place it as close to the center as you can to the other shape. So what we're doing is making a track. We only have the inside one selected and we're going to use the amazing CSG subtract menu. When you hit the button and move it you have now subtracted that shape from the other shape and we have a beautiful track we can use. Hit delete to get rid of the initial circle. Click the X to fixate a circle or fixate the other circle and then we're gonna draw a tiny car down at the bottom. Take your brush size and make sure you take it down to 0.25 or somewhere real close to it. Hold down shift and that lets you draw a straight line down near the bottom and make it quite short. Scroll in with the scroll wheel, grab the wheel, draw a wheel that's larger than that line Click the wheel, do geometry actions, and add the center hinge. Use the rectangle tool to grab that entire tire. Set the tire on your straight line. Notice the colors are the same. That's how you can tell you connected it. If you miss, it'll stay blue. When you've got the back wheel in place, click on the hinge, choose motor, Choose auto brake, leave it at 15, set your forward key to the right arrow, set your back key to the left arrow. With that wheel perfectly built, make sure you've got it all selected and choose clone and then grab that wheel and move it to the front. When you hit play, you can then drive your car trying to go around the circle. Now, at 15 revolutions per minute, it doesn't work. What you can do, though, and what I want you to do, is to adjust the hinges. Let's start with a big number, like 150, and we can do that on each of the motors because you want them to probably be the same. Once you got their speed set at 150, see if then it goes all the way around. Ooh, it's close. I'm going to scroll out so I can see better and see if I can make it work. Get a little bit of a run up, see if I can keep enough. No, I can't. Now, the nice thing about our little car is the way we uh, designed it. It doesn't matter if we switch directions or not. Oh, that one was so close. So we know that 150 is close. I want you to keep adjusting until you can find the perfect number so that it stays glued to that wall because of centrifugal force. All ours will be a little bit different, but we should be able to find a minimum number for a track that is close to this size and have a lot of fun while we're doing it. You need to turn in a screenshot of this project in my classroom, so make sure you take your screenshot quick and you can keep playing as you try and make the perfect one in our class. If you end up with something super cool, make sure you ask me to record it on Instagram and we can share it with the world.
All right, friends, I hope you found this project really slick. If you had to look up centrifugal force, there's nothing wrong with Googling that while you're working. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. If you liked what you did, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.